So OpenAI dropped GPT 4.5. And here I was thinking this is going to be the smartest. This is going to be the best coding assistant. And I'll be honest, what we got is an emotional, a high EQ model. Now, for some, this might be ecstatic, but for myself and for you, the viewer who's watching this, who, you know, are developers or want to be developers or are AI builders, this is just eh. Like, I wanted a more intelligent model, but we got one that's in touch with its feelings, right? But there are a couple of interesting things from an engineering perspective that I find fascinating. The first thing is, GBT 4.5 is the largest and best model, right? So it's pretty expensive. It's up there in price. Right now, if you want to access GPT 4.5, you either need to pay $200 a month, or I think people on the pro plan will soon have it. But I'll show you a sneaky way of getting it for cheap. Actually, I'll just show you now. If you get T3 chat, which is Theo's, uh, I would say, AI model wrapper, it's a pretty fast, essentially my daily driver. I, I don't know why I don't remember searching this, but all in all to say you can get T3 chat and all you have to do really is click on more models and then you have to add your own API key because again, GPT 4.5 is expensive, but you can use it that way versus paying like, you know, $200 a month or whatever the pro plan is. So they say early testing shows that interacting with GPT-4.5 feels more natural. It's broader knowledge base, improved ability to follow user intent, and greater EQ make it useful for tasks like improving writing, questionable on programming, and solving practical problems. I can I want to draw a chart here to kind of show you where I think GPT-4.5 4, uh, lies. If I wanted to build an app that was... Um, human facing, right? Versus, I, I think I just need one line versus just straight, like boring AI. I would say GBT 4.5 is the best one, right? And I'll give you a simple example. This is called um, the Michael Schumann's Yo test. So I said Yo to Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and it says, Hi there, how's it going today? I'm three T three chat powered by cloud 3.7 boring bland, but then I do what's up G here. It says, yo, what's good. Just chilling here, ready to chat. What's up with you? So very cringy. And you could tell this is, this is one of those models that is in its feelings. And I find that, and I, I see, I see this sincerely. This would be one of the best models to use to build some sort of like therapist, AI therapist, or some sort of app like that. But continue on this article. Scaling unsupervised learning. We advanced AI capabilities by scaling two contemporary paradigms, unsupervised learning and reasoning. These represent two axes of intelligence. Scaling reasoning teaches models to think and produce a chain of thought before they respond, allowing them to tackle complex STEM or logic problems. Models like OpenAI 01, Open, OpenAI 03 Mini, um, you know, DeepSeek R1, and even 3.7 Thinking with Claude. And then it says your unsupervised learning, on the other hand, increases world model accuracy and intuition. So for me, it seems like, um, and based on a little bit of testing that I've done, because it's already bankrupted my API key, um, GPT 4.5 is not a reasoning model, but it, it's great for like if you're into writing or like you need to plan something out. It really is like a great assistant. And looking at this chart, you, you can really see that this model is a great assistant but it is expensive. And to kind of explain to you how expensive this model is, I have this beautiful chart that's gonna explain everything to you. So in terms of models right now, I think DeepSeek and Google, any of the Google models and any of the Gemini models, I think are on the cheaper side of things. Um, Claude 3.7 is expensive, right? But it's really great. Now I will say actually, between Claude 3.7 and Claude 3.5, I've noticed that I'll again use a chart because a chart just helps us understand everything. So I'm going to put here uh, try hard and I'm going to put here prompts. I've noticed as I continue to prompt with 3.7, it's try hard scale is insane. For example, let's say I'll tell it, um, I'll tell it to, you know, clean up an object or clean up a function or to create a dialogue component or whatever, it will go out of its way and do other extra things. So I don't know if it, if it's, it's how it's prompted or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how AI models work, but I will say 
3.7 is a lot more try hard ish than I would 3.5, right? Someone said uh, 3.7 was like an eager intern ready to just ship code, right? I'm, I'm still using 3.7 right now. 3.7 is my main driver. Um, I'll be honest, again, this is uh, this seems to be like a great uh, model, but for the price and for the fact that it's not as good as Claude in terms of programming, um, this is definitely not my daily driver. I'm still sticking with Claude 3.7 and 3.5. Let me know what your thoughts are. Are you using OpenAI's GPT 4.5? Have you maxed out your API keys? Are you buying more credits? Or are you one of the rich folks who spends $200 a month? Let me know in the comments down below. I will see you in the next one. Peace.